The summer in Bryce Canyon often brings thunderstorms, the rain that falls is slightly acidic. Rainwater runs down the sides of the rock spires, slowly dissolving the calcite that acts as the natural cement, holding the rock grains together. Chemical weathering weakens the surface of the stone, running water carries away the loosened particles, silt and sand. Over time, this washing action refines the shapes created by frost, water carves small channels and grooves into their surfaces. Softer layers wash away faster, harder layers remain, forming the lumpy stacked appearance. Wind also contributes to this symphony of erosion, its role is secondary to water and ice. Wind blows through the amphitheaters, picking up loose particles, sand and silt. Wind acts like a sandblaster, hurling abrasive particles against the base. The breathtaking beauty of the hoodoos is not just in their shape, but also in their vibrant and varied colors. The rocks of Bryce Canyon are a brilliant tapestry of reds oranges, pinks whites, often arranged in distinct horizontal bands. The dominant reds and oranges come from iron oxides, essentially rust, within the rock. <laughs>